well, it's not my company, but I've been designated to speak for a company that was at our table. I won't tell you why, I'll just do it. So this company recognized, and I've seen it before, that they had these teams that do taproot. They get in front of the management team, they get beaten up, and they don't like being on the team anymore. They said, why should we do this? Why can't we fix this? So they came up with this scheme. They made an executive team that's the only team that's going to review these tap routes. And then what they do is they assign one of the executive team to be a champion to work with each investigation team. So they're coaching them along the way, not doing it part for them, but coaching them along the way. And then they have someone in the final review that's coached and that it goes a little easier along the way. It's a good practice and by the way, they actually gave that executive team some higher level training and had the advanced causal factor course presented to that executive team so they have better skills to be able to coach the other team. A good practice. I'll give you one quick one. On the gold side, you had one person up here that talked about his company. I'll give you a good practice that I saw they did four courses of 30 people in their city, not one empty seat for the course. Now, if you go to a taproot course that your company set up, 10% of the seats are empty, what is it telling you about management? So you wanna look for one way, when you have a course, set up the seats. Management tells you it's important to be there and important for our company.